How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. Today we're going to be covering another product in 3D's new Glow series and that is the ceramic glass cleaner. Now uh, to make the video a little more interesting I'm going to compare it to two other ceramic glass cleaners on the market that I happen to like for various reasons. Um, what I don't have here is the Rain-X ceramic glass cleaner in Grios honestly because Rain-X was terrible and that was a lot of other people shared that experience as well. They didn't like it. And then Griot's just was not, it, it as a glass cleaner, it was very streaky and then water beading just wasn't great. You're better off using their ceramic speed shine. Um, and you know, that, that takes me to another thing. Usually for glass, if you want your glass to bead water, uh, you can just use a, uh, not that, a ceramic detail spray like this, their SIO2 ceramic detailer. It works well on glass. Um, you can even clean the glass with it if your glass isn't too dirty. But I suppose the point of a ceramic glass cleaner is because it is a glass cleaner, so it does help get some dirtier glass clean while also leaving ceramic protection behind. So on my car, on my back window, I prep the window by polishing it to make sure there's nothing on there to interfere with the test. And then um, I used a uh, panel prep solution to remove all that polish, and then I applied the glass cleaners just so we could see the raw performance of these. Um, and real quick, just, just when I was using them, um, I did notice, so the hybrid solutions, turtle wax, super easy to use. It is very slick, uh, not very streaky. The visible glass, <laughs> it is very streaky, but it has good performance um, that I've noticed. Um, so you may want to, if you're using this, go back over it with a wet towel, like a damp towel after you apply it, because it's going to leave a lot of streaks. And then 3D was somewhere in the middle. It was slicker. Um, it did streak a little bit, but it, it didn't streak as bad as this. So they, they look like, as far as using it as a glass cleaner, they got the, the the formulation right. But again, you can just use a ceramic detailer, but you know, you know, two birds with one stone here, I guess. It works a little bit better. Clean your glass off, but in my opinion, just wash your car, then use a ceramic detailer in your glass. But we're still going to test them out. So we'll look over them one by one. So the SiO2 ceramic glass cleaner from 3D, part of their Glow series. Uh, yeah, basically it cleans your glass and leaves protection behind. And I do believe it leaves protection behind, but we're going to test that. Now we've got the Hybrid Solutions Slick Mist. This can only be purchased at Walmart. It is part of a uh, exclusive line for Walmart, the Slick Mist line. Um, this does say it uh, repels, cleans and repels. Now I did test this myself. However, I didn't give it time to cure and it didn't repel water. So I'm wondering if giving it time to cure helps it repel water. Um, it has been sitting for over 24 hours outdoors in the sun and in the garage. Um, I did it the day before I went to work. Went to work all that day. Car sat outside, came home, <clears throat> and now it's the next day. And then the invisible glass hybrid ceramic. This this has good performance. But again, it is kind of a pain to use. And I did make sure they were all, I did shake them all well, yada, yada. So this claims it's got, you know, long, durable performance. So what we're going to do, I'm not going to torture test the glass with chemicals. Um, basically, we're going to see how the water behavior is, and then I'm going to just wash it using a 3D Glow Ultimate Wash. Do a couple rounds of that, see if soap affects it at all. Because, you know, it's a glass cleaner. It's something you're going to be using regularly. So you just want to see if it's going to hold up through the rain, maybe through a wash, so it's there the next time you need it. Um, it is a bit windy out. Hopefully my microphone has a little thing on it to kind of dull the wind. Now, addressing the microphone real quick, uh, you know, I've been using a new microphone in my videos. I, I do understand that the audio quality is not as good as before I was using it when I was just recording through the phone. Um, and I am looking for other options. So if anyone knows of a USB-C microphone that works with Samsung phones that is wireless, that has better audio quality than this, please let me know. I am looking. I'm going to try some other options out here soon and you know, I'll test them and see how they do. This is what I got for now. You can still at least hear me clearly, so that's good. Um, let's get over to the uh, window and uh, start this test. So yeah, it is very windy. It is swaying the camera around, so bear with me as you could. Anyways, real quick, so on the left side, we have got... Um, left side is, is Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions. The middle is the Invisible Glass, and the right side is 3D. You should see noticeable tape lines in the middle where there is no protection. Let's see how this looks. Hit it some water. Oh yeah, okay, everything's repelling water. That's good. So I'm going to see if we... 
nothing floods. Everything seems to work good. So that's good. So yeah, the turtle wax does need time to uh, cure, definitely. You can see here's the tape line right here and right here. So you can see where it doesn't repel water instantly. And let's see if we missed it on. This would be the most simulation of rainfall. Hopefully it's not ruining the camera. It is blowing right back at me because it's so windy out here. But, uh, yeah, they all seem to be pretty hydrophobic. No issues there. So, we're going to wash it. See how that impacts things. Oh yeah, that definitely had an impact on this stuff. Not repelling quite as fast. So the turtle wax doesn't seem to be doing as well. Invisible wax, oh, doing all right. And 3D doing pretty good as well. Let's wash it with another round. I'll wash it three more times, then we'll reinspect. Yeah, so turtle wax seems to have slowed down the most. 3D seems to be doing the best out of them. What do you guys think? I think 3D is, 3D is doing the best. Seems to be repelling water the fastest. Now, if it were to rain, this is what the rain would look like. Everything's still beating water, so that's good. So yeah, not bad, but if we flood it, or like a torrential downpour, I think 3D is gonna do the best out of all those, so. Not bad, 3D, not bad. So we know 3D still got it for most things, aside from that ceramic wash garbage. Um, I'll talk about that here in a second. Let's go in for final thoughts. All right, so we saw how all these products did. Um, now this you can pick up on Walmart's website or at Walmart. This is like less than $10. It's definitely the cheapest one. Performance, not the best, but it is the slickest and easiest to use. Uh, these are going to be more costly. You can get these on Amazon um, in many places. Uh, but here you get 16 ounces of these, and this is this is also six. This is 20 ounces. You get even more with this, so you get more value with that. But best performance out of this, this still does good as well. Um, but this is easier to use in my experience. Uh, have you used any of these? Definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, 3D, their ceramic glass cleaner. They definitely made a good product ahead of the competition. Uh, just what I expect from 3D. So far, all the glow line has been stellar, except for the ceramic wash. Now, ceramic wash is a good soap, but it doesn't it doesn't add protection like they claim. So they made a good soap, yes, but uh, the marketing team uh, kind of got ahead of themselves. <laughs> What's funny is in their group, I did post the question, but they had post approval in their group, and they are not approving my post. They're approving everyone else's post, but not mine. So what does that tell you? I don't know. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I think that's just about everything I've tested from the glow line, except for the ceramic interior detailer. Yeah, that I've purchased anyways. There's some things I didn't purchase. I didn't get the leather cleaner, leather conditioner, 
you know, it's, those are pretty basic products. I've already got 3D LVP cleaner, so I've really got no need for those. I've got no need for these either, but I want to test out all the ceramic stuff. Um, and see how their iron remover is, which their iron remover is the best smelling or least worst smelling iron remover ever. It's got basically no bad smell, very faint, which is impressive on the wheel and tire cleaner. So I wanted to see how they did against their yellow degreaser, which does pretty well. Um, but yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Uh, you know, share your opinions with me. I always appreciate interacting with you. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer. Uh, hopefully you, you enjoyed this content, you'll enjoy the other content that I've got to offer. Um, but that's all I've got. I will see you all in the next video. Keep them clean. Have a good one.